Hello, my name is Thomas Wall. I work with a software security company called Grammatech, and I want to talk to you about our DARPA-supported CRAM technology today, which is about C++ to Rust-assisted migration. The problem CRAM addresses is arguably one of the most serious problems in the software industry today, namely that we have decades worth of code written in legacy programming languages, and that code often suffers from low memory safety standards. This is serious because complex such code almost inevitably contains very hard to locate and fix errors, and, and these errors in turn often give rise to security hazards. Now, more modern, safer languages do exist, and they are rapidly being adopted, but most organizations don't have the time to manually rewrite or re-implement large amounts of legacy code. Our solution then is automated code migration. The specific capability of CRAM, combined with our team's expertise, is to turn general purpose C++ into idiomatic, human-readable Rust code. This increases reliability by eliminating many common types of memory errors, like use after free, and it also gives you various other benefits for years to come. Let me give you a few more details on CRAM, and I'll begin with the problem that CRAM addresses. So this is all about legacy code bases in so-called unsafe languages. In these, the programmer has unrestricted access to memory by explicitly allocating, deallocating memory at arbitrary times during program execution and accessing it using raw pointers and arbitrary aliasing. This is well known to expose software to attacks since pointers can point to arbitrary data, including data that were never meant for the program. These problems have been with us for decades they cost the software industry billions every year, and this is acknowledged all the way up to high-level government agencies. In response, several safer languages have been developed to address this problem, including Rust. Rust achieves memory safety via an access interface known as ownership. At the same time, Rust code has the potential to be highly efficient, something that may be harder, for instance, for garbage-collected languages to claim. The question remains then what to do with all that C++ legacy code. And here's our capability that addresses this question. Combined with expertise from our team, CRAM migrates general purpose C++ code into Rust. Now, cross-language migration is a very hard problem, so we do make some assumptions. The code should be reasonably well-written, not deliberately obfuscated. It should also avoid point arithmetic and low-level C-style idioms. And what do you get out of it? You get idiomatic code in Rust that looks as if written by a human, so it's suitable for further development. CRAM also gives you evidence that the Rust code is in fact equivalent to the original C++. Here's an overview of how CRAM works. The gist is that the migration from legacy C++ to Rust proceeds in two stages. CRAM first refactors the C++ into a safer hardened version the yellow box, by imposing some of the same memory access abstractions that Rust enforces, but all within the C++ code. So there's no Rust in this first stage. And then in the second stage, that safer C++ is migrated to Rust. CRAM also comes with a nice work interface that walks you through the steps. It lets you accept or reject certain steps, or you can do it all in an automated mode. CRAM shows you before and after pictures of the code along all the steps, like here on the slide, which shows some partially refactored C++ code on the left and the resulting migrated Rust code on the right. Let me conclude with what sets CRAM apart. We believe Grammatech's capability for highly automated C++ to Rust migration is unique. CRAM currently handles a large and growing set of non-trivial C++ features, and it has a very customer-friendly user interface. Okay, that's our overview of uh, Grammatech's automated code migration capability. I want to acknowledge the support by the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, for this work, and I want to thank you for your time.